You know what? We human beings have a problem. Out of many problems, there is one more, and this is self-created one. We always expect ease from life. We have this amazing fantasy about life. This is how things should work. This is my plan. It should go as per my plan. If that doesn't happen, we give up. So, my dear friends, let me tell you one thing. I never wanted to be on the wheelchair. Never thought of being on the wheelchair. I was always aspiring to do bigger things, but had no idea that for that I have to pay the price to be where I am today. It's a very heavy price. This life is a test and a trial, and tests are trials. Are never supposed to be easy. So when you are expecting ease from life, and life gives you lemons, then you make the lemonade, and then do not blame life for that, because you were expecting ease from a trial. Trials make you a stronger, better person. Life is a trial. Every time you realize that. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. Everything is okay, but giving up should not be an option. They always say that failure is not an option. Failure should be an option because when you fail, you get up, and then you fail, and then you get up, and that keeps you going. That's how humans are strong. Failure. Is an option, should be an option, but giving up is not. Never. We have this thing in minds. We call it perfection. We want everything perfect. We want ourselves to be perfect. There is this image in our head about everything: perfect life, perfect relationships, perfect career, perfect amount of money that we need to earn, no matter what. Nothing is perfect in this world. We all are perfectly imperfect, and that is perfectly all right. That's all right. You were, we were sent here not to become the perfect people. Those people who tell you how to look perfect, even those people are imperfect. Trying to fight this fear of looking imperfect. I used to be perfect. I still remember. I got this compliment years ago when I used to walk. Oh my God! Look at you. You're fair. You're tall. You're perfect. Look at me now. Only the perfect eyes can see that. Only the perfect eyes will see that. Only the perfect eyes will see that. So yes, in all those imperfections. You have to listen to your heart. You don't have to look good for people. You don't have to be perfect just because other people want you to, to be perfect. If your soul is perfect from within, that's all right. This is all what you want. This is all what you need to be. Our society has made very weird, very weird kind of. Norms to look perfect and great. For men, it's different. For women, it's different. We think too much about what people say. We we listen to ourselves too little. Do you know what makes you perfect? When you make someone smile. You know what makes you perfect? When you try to do something good for the people around you. Do you know what makes you perfect? When you feel someone's pain. And how beautiful pain is that it connects you with people. No other medium can connect you with others but pain. That's why I always say that I'm in pain, and that's a blessing in disguise for me. Today, just because I'm in pain and I'm on the wheelchair, I work for children. Being the head of CSR for a company, we conduct medical camps in far-flung areas of Pakistan where so many kids die because they don't have medical facilities. And I personally believe just because they cannot afford to live doesn't mean we let them die. So we give them money, we give them medical treatment, we try to heal their wounds, physical and emotional. And I also work for 
the beautiful people. We call them third gender. The transgender community of Pakistan. You know what connects me with them? All my imperfections. When I go and I hug them, they never judge me. And this very good friend of mine, her name is Bijli. Bijli means electricity. She calls herself electricity. And I said, are you electricity? She says, no, I'm lightning. I'm as strong as lightning. So we have because we have very bad power outage, so she doesn't want me to call her electricity. So she says, I am very strong. I'm thunder, I'm lightning. She came to me and the first time I hugged her, she said, you are just like me. And I said, yes, I am like you. Because to people, we are so imperfect. So how beautiful these imperfections are that because of these imperfections you can connect with people then why are we all running after being perfect? What's the point? Every time I go in public I always smile. It's always a big toothy smile on my face and people ask me don't you get tired of smiling all the time? What's the secret? I always say one thing that I have stopped worrying about the things that I have lost, the people that I have lost. Things and people who were meant to be with me are with me. And sometimes, somebody's absence makes you a better person. Cherish their absence. It's always, it's always a blessing in disguise. I always say that people are so lucky they don't even realize. You must be thinking, okay, you are lucky in what sense? Well, the breath that you just took was a blessing. Embrace it. There are so many people in the world who are dreaming to live a life that you are living right now. You have no idea. Embrace each and every breath that you are taking. Celebrate your life. Live it. Don't die before your death. We all die. We live this one routine of a day for 75 years and we call it life. No, that's not life. If you're still thinking why you have been sent here, if you're still juggling with the concept of why you were here, you haven't lived yet. You work hard, you make money, you do it for yourself. That's not life. You go out, you seek for people who need your help, you make their lives better. You become that sponge which can absorb all the negativity and you become that person who can emit beautiful positive vibes. And when you realize that you have changed someone's life and because of you, this person didn't give up. That is the day when you live always we were talking about gratitude why I smile all the time I cry all night when nobody sees me because I'm a human and I have to keep the balance and I smile all day because I know that if I will smile I can make people smile that keeps me going Be grateful for what you have and you will always, always end up having more. But if you'll cry and if you'll crip for the little things that you don't have or the things that you've lost, you will never ever have enough. Sometimes we are too busy thinking about the things that we don't have that we forget to cherish the blessings that we have. I'm not saying that I'm not healthy and that makes me unlucky, but yes, it is hard. It is hard when I say that I cannot walk. It is hard to say when I wear this bag. It hurts. But I have to keep going. Because never giving up is the way to live. Always. So I'll end my talk on a very short note. Live your life fully. Accept yourself the way you are.
be kind to yourself be kind to yourself i'll repeat be kind to yourself and only then you can be kind to others love yourself and spread that love life will be hard there will be turmoils there will be trials but that will only make you stronger never give up the real happiness doesn't lie in money or success or fame i have this all and never wanted this real happiness lies in gratitude so be grateful be alive and live every moment